Hello and welcome to Rule Breaker. Today we're going to take a look at the updates that the Arborek from Twilight Imperium have gotten now that the Prophecy of Kings expansion um, is out there. Um, so uh, we're mainly going to focus on um, leaders and mechs but there are a couple of things from the Twilight Imperium Codex um, that I'm going to talk about as well. If you don't know what that is, it's a print and play um, update expansion to the game that's available on the Fantasy Flight Games website. Um, it's totally free uh, and you should check it out. There will be a link in the description of the video below to show you how to get to that. Um, but more about that later. Uh, first of all, let's focus on these leaders and mechs. Uh, so the agent for the Arborek is called Latani Osfa. Their commander is Derzuga Rofal and their hero Latani Mayasmiala. I think I got that right. And then their mech is just called Latani Behemoth. So what do they do? Um, so the agent um, has an action. So the action you can do instead of a tactical action or a strategy action or instead of an action card uh, on your turn. And it reads, exhaust this card and choose a player's non-fighter ship. That player may replace that ship with one from their reinforcements that costs up to two more than the replaced ship. So um, like a kind of a mobile upgrade uh, to a ship. So um, take a ship, uh, remove it, stick in another ship um, that is worth two more in cost than it. Um, so some examples of that. Um, probably the most obvious example there um, is that you can upgrade, um, again it's not fighters, so you can't upgrade a fighter uh, to a carrier, that doesn't work, but you can, you can take a cruiser um, that you've built before, remove that and upgrade it into a dreadnought, for example. So that's a that's a pretty big upgrade. It's a really cool um, combat upgrade. Um, if you do want a carrier, you can upgrade a destroyer to a carrier. Um, because the destroyers cost one. Um, you could remove this and get a carrier for three. So lots of different combinations that you can do, um, and usually pretty useful ones as well. So that's a very interesting um, agent ability. Um, it's an exhaust, so you can only do it once per round. You can't just keep doing it, obviously. That would be absolutely crazy. Um, but there you go. You've got a chance to do it once per round. So a cheap way of getting better ships, uh, which is really nice. Um, their commander um, unlocks when you have 12 ground forces on planets you control. Um, and as you may know from the Arborek, they love their ground forces, their infantry. Um, they basically multiply because they, they have production themselves. Um, just an example there, like the upgraded version of the infantry actually has production too, so they can they can multiply crazy fast. So it shouldn't take you very long to get the 12 ground forces that you need in order to unlock your commander. Uh, and when you have them, this flips over and it has the text. After another player activates a system that contains one or more of your units to have production, you may produce one unit in that system. So this is like a really awesome uh, counter-attack reaction thing. Um, and again, because your um, infantry units have production, you're going to have this almost every time that you have units in a system, really. Uh, I mean, I don't think I've ever seen an Arborek game where... There hasn't been infantry Latani warrior units uh, sitting in just about every system that they control. So you're going to be able to produce a unit every time someone attacks you if you play your cards right. That's what this commander does. Um, and that makes you also a super valuable ally if you're using the Alliance uh, Promissory Note. Um, because if you look at the text of the Alliance Promissory Note, um, the main part of it there is that you can use the the uh, commander ability if it's unlocked of the person who you give it to, um, so that's that's something to think about if you're if you're interested in forging an alliance with somebody, uh, be aware that they're going to be able to, um, potentially, um, do a lot of production. Now they won't have production on their infantry like you, but anytime somebody attacks one of their stations, their uh, space docks, um, they'll be able to produce a ship straight away. 
um, and that is available for the combat that's about to ensue as well so it's readily available straight away when that happens uh, so I really like that commander I think it's really useful it doesn't have the flashy um, super awesomeness of of some of the some of the commanders in the game but it's something that you're going to use all the time and it's going to make you better all the time so so really really cool that commander um, the hero unlocks when you've scored three objectives just like all heroes and um, when you've got your third objective scored you flip it over and it becomes the ultrasonic emitter or overgrowth um, and that has the action produce any number of units in any number of systems that contain one or more of your ground forces then purge this card so normally um, normally in Twilight Imperium you are restricted by a production limit for example the two on the tiny warrior or the three or whatever it is on space docks um, with this once per game action um, you can just build as many things as you can afford across everywhere that you have things that can produce and when you're the Arborek that's probably everywhere that you've got got anything really um, as long as you can afford them so I mean I kind of foresee when I'm playing them next that I'm gonna hoard as many trade goods as I possibly can in preparation for this um, and then just build an absolute ton of ships and uh, infantry and mechs and everything um, and just to, like basically take over the whole board in one fell swoop um, so this one is a is a real Hail Mary play, like a lot of the heroes seem to be in Prophecy of Kings, and it's one that really sticks with the theme of these guys. This overgrowth, as it's described here, um, is very apt, so that's what you're doing here. So, really fascinating hero ability for the Arborek. Uh, very scary, very scary. And on to the mech, which has a deploy action. Um, so that reads, when you would use your mitosis faction ability, you may replace one of your infantry with one mech from your reinforcements instead. Um, and that also has uh, sustained damage, planetary shield, and production too. So the mech are the mech units are like the um, Lathani warrior infantry in that they can um, help to produce other stuff. So mad. The mitosis ability, just for reference, is listed on the front. Of here it's um, that your space docks cannot produce infantry and um, but at the start of your turn you can produce one infantry from your reinforcements on any planet you control so in short what the mech is saying is that you can deploy a mech um, instead of an infantry when you're doing this thing at the start of the, the round as soon as the status phase is in play you can choose to put in a mech if you like and they are pretty good they're worth it they're they're that little bit better than your infantry they do hit on sixes um, and they're usually more expensive so there's every reason why you should want to do that so that's the main stuff for the Arborek that comes in the Prophecy of Kings box now I want to talk about a couple of changes um, that have come in with the Codex um, the print and play expansion so um, you may remember that they start with Megan Defense Grid and um, their technology well that technology in general has gotten a complete overhaul in the um, the codex itself and um, so instead of stopping your opponent from rolling dice um, in ground combat what the new version the Omega version does is it says at the start of ground combat on a planet that contains one or more of your structures you may produce one hit and assign it to one of your opponent's ground forces so you can guarantee a hit in ground combat um, straight away instead of relying on the dice so it just takes a little bit of the luck factor of the game away and it improves the um, the predictability of Megan Defense Grid so that's something that improves the, um, the Arborex slightly as well uh, just by basis of it being one of their well their only start technology so that's a very welcome addition and something that you should definitely get if you uh, if you can uh, get them printed out and um, there's one other thing in the codex and um, it's a bit more of a significant thing uh, so the original promissory note for the arborek stymie um i recommended never really giving it to people in the the player's guide video and i stand by that but now with the codex edition there is a new um version of stymie the omega edition um that is quite different and the way that that one works is that when you give it to somebody they have the ability um, after another player moves ships into a system that contains one or more of your units you may place one command token from that player's reinforcements in any non-home system then return this card to the Arborek player so 
this doesn't actually hurt the Arbrecht player in any way. In fact, this is something that you're going to want to hand out to people um, in order to slow other people down. Um, and of course, by putting um, one of these tokens down in the system, um, that player can't visit that system again or take ships out of that system. So this is potentially extremely powerful. And in fact, this becomes more of a, a very aggressive thing. Um, so it's, it's quite aggressive. Um, and very 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 different and much stronger than the one that comes in the base game um, so there you go that is another addition as a result of the codex that came out um, just before Prophecy of Kings so if you have access to the codex if you've got a good printer if you know if you find a print store somewhere that can print it out for you I highly recommend you do it because it does bring a lot of things um, closer together and um, balance wise including what you just saw there for the Arborek um, so how do I feel about this? Um, I think this overgrowth is really fun. Um, it encourages kind of a turtling down while also expanding in order to get out there and do a massive burst um, to take over as much of the galaxy as you possibly can and will go. Um, but I think the real the real key um, here is this commander um, being able to produce that unit is it's really really good whenever someone comes after you. It can be anything you like as well. Um, it can be a war sum if you have the stuff to pay for it. And then th the people are coming into a trap. So that's a, a whole new element of play for the Arborek. A new style for them. Um, and there you go. That's what they do. They're a bit different. I always thought they were quite strong. I think they're stronger again now. Um, in my opinion, they're one of the strongest races in the game. Um, and... I'd love to hear your opinions um, if you've played as them since Prophecy of Kings has come out. So if you have done that or if you've played against them, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear what you've got to say. Um, and that's it for the Arborek. Um We'll be back with more videos very soon for the rest of the races. Um, thanks for watching. This has been Rulebreaker and we'll see you soon.